How's it going, guys? My name is TJP, and welcome back to another Unbelievable the Show 22 career sim. I'm not going to call it a rebuild, but it, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be picking Julio Rodriguez. So I'm doing a someone that's already in the majors, so we're going to simulate their entire career. So we're going to, you know, follow their progression, see how they do, see how Julio does. Uh, since he's already in the majors, I'm not going to show you guys every season. I mean, I'll show you maybe, like, maybe his first two seasons. I don't know. We'll figure out the cut. Unless he wins, like, MVP or something, or a gold glove, or a silver slugger, wins a World Series. Like, that's kind of cool. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, or Rookie of the Year. He might win Rookie of the Year, actually, in the game. So, he might do that, too. Uh, but, either way, if you guys enjoy the content, leave a like, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments for some more videos. Social down in the description. Playlist down below for other MLB Zero 22 franchise content. Check my channel for content TJP. So, Ryden Rosters. Injuries will be off, because I did download uh, the Ryden Rosters version 2 update that came out. I think last night as I'm recording this, so it'll be Monday when you see it. And yeah, I guess with that being said, let's get on the game. All right, so just want to show you guys really quickly. So Julio Rodriguez is in the MLB, obviously. So <clears throat> 21 years old, currently in a 90, at least in this uh, Ryan Rosters roster. So for those that are curious, 21 years old, Dominican Republic, playing center field. So I'm going to simulate, I guess, if he wins Rookie of the Year, which he might. Uh, I will show you guys that. If we make the postseason, I'll show you guys that as well. Uh, but everything else is going to be automated. So I uh, just want to make sure that I have this correct. So if I go to user settings, mode specific for everybody, everything is auto. I'm going to make everything auto. I don't know if I have to do that for every team. I don't think I do. I think that should be fine. And then put, click apply changes. Like if I switch, it should still be the same. Yeah. So everything is auto free agency trade so wherever he happens to go he happens to go so uh and we'll just kind of keep track of that so if he moves teams or gets traded i will uh, let you guys know so i'm gonna simulate and i guess when i have an update i'll see you guys once i have an update all right so i actually did want to give you a quick little update here so julio rodriguez did not win the rookie of the year but he was third runner up uh just want to show you guys his stats i guess so yeah 22 homers 60 rbis uh so so far so good i mean uh, for his rookie season, that's not too bad. Uh, we'll take it. Um, you know, 990, only three errors, five war. So we're gonna we're gonna keep track. We're gonna keep track to see if we can get those cu uh, cut down those strikeouts. I mean, 95 overall already is a is pretty incredible. So I only see him getting better. The attributes are going up. So it's exciting stuff. Uh, we didn't make the postseason, so. That's annoying, but it is what it is. I guess we'll just simulate the uh, rest of the se off season, and then s maybe the second season, if he happens to make an all-star, or win a gold glove, or win some kind of award, I will show you guys and have an update. All right, so I did want to pause right here and just to tell you guys that Julio Rodriguez in his second season has become an all-star. And uh, yeah, this is what he's got going on for him through uh, the first half of the season. And you can already see definitely an improvement. Uh, his average, his OPS, his slugging have gone up, his OPS... And, uh, what is this? Oh, I, th I thought that's at 351. I was like, sacrifice flies. Okay. The sacrifice bunts or sacrifice. Um, 77 strikeouts. Okay. He's got 20 homers, 50 RBI, so I'm sure he'll eclipse that. Uh, haven't made any errors. So, yeah, he's looking a lot better so far through his first, uh, well, second season, rather. So, made an all star. It's pretty solid. Let's see if we can make the postseason with this team. If we do, I'll show you guys. Otherwise, I'll probably just simulate another season or something. All right, so at the end of the season three, we actually did make the postseason. So Julio Rodriguez is getting his first taste of postseason action. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know why his home runs went down to 11. Doesn't really make any sense to me. Uh, his overall is at a 96 now, but I don't know why he only had 11 home runs, but all right. Uh, kind of a down season, if we're talking, honestly. Yeah, his numbers went really down. So I don't know what happened with him, but uh, he actually led the league in wins above replacement last season. Uh, this year with 3.9. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess his third year, he's kind of having like a junior slump. Okay, hopefully maybe he'll bounce back. A little strange, but at least he did make the postseason. The team's better. The team got Trey uh, Turner, so it's pretty cool. So let's see if they can win in the postseason that'd be kind of cool if he could win a world series i don't think they will but you never know uh we'll sim through date and kind of just uh you know get through all this garbage oh my god i don't care okay sim just sim through date let's see what happens 
Uh, it might be ALCS. I don't know. There's so many. Nope, they lost one nothing. A lot of close games. Uh, let's see, what was the box score? Uh, yeah. Let's see how Julio did though in the postseason. Was he good at least? Uh, it was pretty solid. 18, six hits, six for 18, two ribbies. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, okay, cool. So first taste of postseason action. Pretty solid. Uh, but yeah, definitely had a really weird season this year. So, uh, he is going to be up for arbitration. So I'm, I assume that the Mariners would offer him the arbitration for three seasons. So I guess like if we have another update to give between now and then before he becomes a free agent, I will give you that to you. Uh, but for now, we're just going to simulate and I'll see you guys once I have another update. All right. So we're at the end of like, uh, season five, I believe. And I'm kind of just curious to see if there was any... Yeah, the, by the way, we picked up Kyle, The Mariners picked up Kyle Tucker for the team, which is pretty cool. Uh, but let's take a look at how Julio did. So uh, this is his fifth season. He ended the season cold. 254, 23 homers. He had 25 last season. So he kind of bounced back from that 11, which is kind of weird. So uh, through five seasons, not too bad. He's made a couple all-star games, which is pretty nice. Career 260 hitter, 32, 327 on base, slugging 41, 808 OPS. Uh, you know, the fielding is all right. He only made a couple errors. War careers at a 26.3 through five seasons. Not terrible. He does strike out a little too much. I'd like to get that, you know, up a little bit, but I, I think he's still got some good seasons left in him. And let's kind of just see how he does in this postseason, especially with a better team. You know, we could make a run here potentially. As we are taking on Cleveland, there's going to be a lot of these, so let's just spam press A. Uh, can we get through to the ALCS? No, we can't. We lose once again in the ALDS to the Guardians, and uh, yeah, I think there's one, we have one more season before Julio becomes a free agent, so I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen there. So... Uh, yeah, Cardinals won the World Series, I guess. Let's go to this uh, next season. We are at the uh, end of his sixth season, Julio Rodriguez's sixth season. He had a decent year. The reason I'm showing you guys this is because we did make the postseason. He had 30 homers, 85 ribbies, uh, 265, which isn't too bad. Uh, he is starting to regress, though, interestingly enough. Uh, and he's at a 92, so that's interesting. I'm kind of wondering to see like what'll happen. I guess he had a he almost had a career on second. No, he didn't have a career on second percentage, but he had a good one. 518, 330 on base, 265 average again, pretty decent. Uh, his WAR is 5.4, 30, 31.7 career WAR through six. It's not terrible. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see how he ends up doing in the postseason since the Mariners did make it. We also had we had Cy Young winners. It's kind of crazy. Like the team's playing pretty well. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe he'll make a run this year at the World Series. He is up for free agency, so I'm kind of curious to see what will happen. Will he stay in Seattle? Will he go? Only time will tell. Let's see. We are taking on the Rays, and see if we can get to the ALCS. That'd be kind of cool, but my guess is that we will. And we're taking on the Tigers, it looks like, in the ALCS, and the Tigers swept the Mariners. So, they're not going to get to the World Series, and the Tigers won the World Series. Forgot who's on the Tigers, but gosh darn, man. That is unfortunate. Julio Rodriguez, how did he do in the postseason? Let's take a look at his stats. He was okay. One homer, one RBI. Wow, he only had one RBI? Why? So weird. Eh. Okay, I'm a little I'm a little flustered. I'm not sure how I should feel. Because uh, I've seen Julio had some monster numbers, and obviously he was really good in the homer and derby. And he's got a promising future. But maybe it's just a riding roster. I don't know. But either way, uh, let's see where Julio Rodriguez ends up in free agency. Will he save the Mariners or will he leave? Julio Rodriguez got sick and tired of the Pacific Northwest and said, I'm going to the New York Yankees. So Julio Rodriguez is going to New York. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're going to take control of the Yankees now. I wonder what their team's looking like. Uh, but there you go. Julio Rodriguez left the Mariners after six seasons. So you guys know uh, Julio Rodriguez. Uh, 
is a currently at a 92 overall. He's signed, like I said, for five years. So I assume the Yankees will make the postseason probably every season. If they don't, uh, I'm not going to even really. I'll tell you guys if he, if, he, if he does make the postseason, if he made an All Star or not, since it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, so far I think he is two. So I would assume now playing in New York, he'll probably get more votes. I don't know how that factors in uh, in the franchise, but maybe that'll help. Maybe he'll be better with uh, Judge uh, Joey Gallo. Somehow, I was looking at his stats. He's hitting 250, 270, which is uh, interesting. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's see how he does uh, in New York, in the Bronx. Yankees made the wild card playing game. We're going to see how they do. But yeah, Julio Rodriguez is regressing already after seven seasons. I'm a little concerned. Uh, did not see that happening. Hmm. Okay. And he's coming off the bench now, at least against, uh, against righties. Uh, he probably plays against lefties, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, interestingly enough, that's interesting. So, I'm a little concerned. Uh, let's see if they can beat the, the Rangers. That'd be kind of cool. And maybe go to the AL, uh, DS. And no, they lose in 5-3. to three. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Did he even play in the uh, game? Uh, no, I don't even think he played. So, yeah, uh, pfft, that's a little unfortunate. So, I guess we'll uh, simulate another season or something, see if the Yankees make the postseason again. But, yeah, a little concerning from Julio. Okay, so we're at the end of the season, and I'm just looking at the roster, and Julio Rodriguez is not even really playing anymore. <laughs> He's actually regressed like crazy, which is insane. I did not see this coming. Uh, 39 games, two homers, eight RBIs. He's hitting 222. I think we've seen the best of him. His career might be over. Like, I... This is surprising. Uh... I did not see this coming. I really didn't see this coming. His war is at a 33.2. Uh, pretty good fielding. 97 assists in the field. 257 career average. 171 homers. 551 RBIs. 1,000 hits. I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss of words. I did not see this re level of regression from him. But I guess it's happening. I guess he's pro that's not a good contract again. So... I don't know. It looks like his career might be over. He might get a World Series ring if we can win one here. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, we'll send the postseason see what happens. Can the Yankees get a World Series? That'd be kind of cool. And then we can see how his stats are doing. Tigers in the ALCS, or ALDS, and we win. Then the Astros, the Guardians in the ALCS. It's going to be the Astros. And it looks like the Yankees won the ALCS and take on the Dodgers in the World Series. Let's see if they can beat them. And the Yankees won the World Series. That's kind of cool. So Julio Rodriguez gets a World Series ring. He's a World Series winner. He's got two All-Stars. But I think that's pretty much all that he's going to get. I don't think we're ever going to see anything better from him. Maybe he can get another World Series ring. But he, I think he's done. He might be cooked, man. He might be cooked. I'm shocked. I did not see that happening at this age. But he's already regressing like crazy. Uh, did he even really play in the postseason? Let's see. How did he do? He didn't even get in that bat? Dang, man. Wow. He didn't even get a single at bat. Yeah, so I, I think he might be done. I mean he got a World Series he won a World Series. That's cool. He's on the he was on the team. He made contributions throughout the season. He was on the roster. He was ready to play, but he didn't get any time, so I guess we'll just keep simulating, but looks like his career is... We've seen the best of Julio. I just want to let you know the Yankees won the World Series again, but here is the issue. Uh, Julio Rodriguez is in double A. He actually was in double A. He started, he started season triple A, then he went down to double A. 
And I guess he got called back up to AAA. So he didn't even get into the ring. Wow. I mean, again, he's at a 75, and he is... How old? He is 29. He's got three seasons left, two seasons left. This might be it. Like, he might play out that contract, and I don't think he's going to get picked up again. He might play minor league ball, but I think that's pretty much going to be the video. Like, I think he's done. Like, I think that's his career. Right here is his career. I mean, it's not Hall of Fame worthy. Nice career, though, but not going to be a Hall of Fame. Not what I expected. I thought he'd, he'd kind of, like, be really good, have multiple All-Star appearances. Not the case. At least in this simulation. So, I do have another update. Julio Rodriguez has now been traded to the Cleveland Guardians for a Patrick Sandoval. So now we're going to have to be taking control of Cleveland. I wonder if he'll be in the in the majors, maybe. We'll see. I'm shocked. The, vi the, uh, uh, the video's over. Like, th th this is it. I did not think he was going to retire. I was about to tell you guys, he got... He did play in Cleveland... He played a little bit, got sent down the the minors, and that was it. So, wow, okay. He played eight seasons, a little over eight seasons of Major League Ball. You know, he was in the minors here and there. Retires at 31. Like, that's not, like, old. 31. He regressed like crazy. Now, I think it also could be, like, it could be riding rosters. Like, in the, for Marcel Mayer, I used, uh, I used regular San Diego Studio, and with the show rosters. You know, they, I don't know if they tweak anything with these rosters. I know they obviously add minor leaguers, but, you know, I wanted to make it a little bit more realistic, because I like having the minor leaguers, but, like, gosh darn, man. Like, that is, that's crazy. I did not foresee this, so. Julio Rodriguez ends with. A career average of 256, 321 on base, 471 slugging. Had 174 homers, 560 RBIs. A couple seasons rated over 30, or 30 plus. A few seasons with 20 plus. I mean, had that one really weird year here. I don't know why there was only 11, but you know, if he didn't do that, and then you know, these couple seasons, he play here. He was, you know didn't really play much either so I, I mean yeah really i i am shocked um how many stolen bases did he have 100 guys stolen bases 43 clock stealing okay uh 14 sacks fly sack hits 12 uh never won a gold glove hit 33.9 career war okay struck out a little too much i again like i am absolutely shocked that he retired this early 2031 okay i guess let's let's just go to baseball reference take a look at his career and kind of just make some comparisons and see where he would line up here but i highly doubt he's going to be in the hall of fame so what was his war his war was a 33.9 so let's take a look and see where that would com where he'd be like compared to in terms of other outfielders and just other players in general zooming in this time for you guys so that you guys can see a little better since last time i showed you guys this site it was kind of hard to see so 33.9 kind of puts him around this area all time uh michael brantley's around here justin turner garrett cole anthony rendon isn't too far away bogarts uh king griffey's a little bit higher There's some decent players around here a couple guys made some all-stars I mean, a couple all-star appearance he had he won a World Series. Yeah, he had a nice career. got a nice contract. But, yeah, I, I thought he was going to be better, personally. Uh, but 32.9 puts him, you know, all-time. Tied for 726 with uh, Tony uh, Cuccinello, Russ Ford, and Rick Sutcliffe. Uh, Tony Cuccinello from 1930 to... Uh, where did he, how long did he play for? 15 years. Uh, who was here? Russ Ford, who played in 1909 to 1915. Okay. He's a pitcher. And then we had, uh, 
Rick Sutcliffe, who was here as well. And he was a pitcher as well. He had three All-Stars. Three All-Star seasons, which is pretty cool. He actually won a Cy Young as well. Really? Yeah, 20 and 6 he went. Uh, I guess he did that with uh, Cleveland and also the Cubs. But he probably won it with the Cubs, yeah. With the Cubs, he was just lights out. So, uh, Rookie of the Year. He had a couple, all three All-Star appearances. So runner up Cy Young. All right, that's where that's that's basically where Julio Rodriguez finished. I again, he regressed like crazy. I'm surprised that he did. Baseballegg.com. Looking at center fielders, 33.9 I think is what he had would put him. If we look by WAR, right here is Bobby Thompson. So. Not making the cut of Hall of Fame. I mean, this guy, Lloyd Wainer, made the Hall of Fame with 27. I mean, obviously, war doesn't always, like, equate to, you know, Hall of Fame. But, you know, 33.9 puts him around here with Willie McGee, Dwayne Murphy, Dom DiMaggio, Bobby Thompson at the same, Brady Anderson. Like, around this range. Mickey Rivers is there, too, uh, which is cool. But, yeah, that's, that's where he is. I mean, uh, these are, I think, war top seven seasons, which I didn't check, but... Crazy stuff. All right. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for me. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let me know down in the comments below some more videos. Social down description. Playlist down below for other MLB The Show 22 content channel. Check it out. Second channel. Socials. All that fun stuff. Yeah, I will be surprised. I'm not, I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm lost for words. I did not think that this would turn out the way it did again. You know, I thought it would have been a little bit better of a career for Julio Rodriguez. Maybe I had a little bit too high expectations. Could have been possibly the roster. I, I don't really know that I used, I mean, like I said, riding rosters. Uh, you know, last time I did with Marcel Mayer, I used uh, just a regular MLB The Show. Um, yeah, but it is what it is, I, I guess. Uh, well, if you have any of the players, let me know down in the comments below. I'll see if, if I can uh, make some time and do some do some more. But I guess with that being said, uh, take care. Enjoy the night. See you soon. Peace.